Hello, this is Vet0121, and welcome back to Lost Odyssey. And in this episode, we are going to exit the Black Cave, find out what lies beyond, and well, looks like some new locations opened up there. It's kind of nice. Yeah, we can go to the Ice Canyon right now, but uh, yeah, I don't recommend that because I don't think we can get in. Or at least I don't think we can. Eh, I'll give it a try, I guess. I can't remember. I mean, why would they give us the location on the map if we can't get in? Mm, maybe we can get in. Interesting. Or maybe we can't. I can see a cave up ahead, but it looks cold and dark and dangerous. Just look at that, with those ice columns blocking the way, we probably can't get through from here. Yeah. Okay, so we can't do anything here right now. Okay, whatever. Might as well check it out to make sure though, of course, right? Uh, is there anything here in this opening area? No, nope, nothing, okay. Let's just leave then. Go to the city of Salmon. The hell? This doesn't sound like city music. Oh jeez. What the hell's going on here? Wow. What's all that magic crap going around? Something's not right with this town. Yeah, I think it looks like a whole bunch of people are possessed. Looks like a face. That yeah, does kind of look like a face, actually, now that you mention it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. I'm amazed you made it here. Didn't the monsters attack you? Is there something going on? I'd say for a while now, starting about a year ago, we've been having all sorts of weird things happen in town. Furniture dancing around, children's toys causing havoc, and people are starting to wander around aimlessly like zombies. You can't get any help from the from Goatsy either. Whatever it is that's causing all this, also sealed off the ice cannon path canyon path that connects us to Goza. You're kidding me, we're in a rush to get to Goza. Well, look at me, that path is already dangerous, winding its way through the cracks of the glaciers. Now the entrance is blocked by these huge ice columns, yeah, we already know that. <coughs> the only way to Goza now is by sea. But the only ship we have left that has been sunk is just a tiny boat. It isn't sturdy enough to make it anywhere near Goza. Oh, that's great. Well, that doesn't sound too good at all, does it? What? Just leave me alone and go die somewhere, okay? <laughs> Jeez, that's terrible. That's a terrible thing to say to somebody. Jeez. Wow. And yeah, the peapots here. We're gonna be uh We're gonna be uh talking to him eventually. Once we get enough seeds. Oh yeah, at this point in the game when you come here you want to make sure that you have fifty three seeds. Or in my case, I have thirteen in my inventory, but that's 53 seeds total that we found in the game so far. If you've been following this walkthrough and gotten all the items from the peapot and gotten all the seeds, that's how many sh seeds you should have right now. So there you go. And yeah, I don't know what that's all about, but whatever. Alright. Seed number 54. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I think that's all we can do in this house for now, so let's 
go explore more of this town. It's pretty screwed up. Yeah, might as well check out the inn. How could this be happening? We can't sleep safely in our own city. Yeah, that is kind of messed up, actually. It really is. Anything over here? No. Hello, you done yet? Can't understand it. Yeah, okay, shut up. Uh, what's in here? Some pots, apparently. Alright, another seed. Excellent. Okay, I think we found everything in here for now. What's in here? A door we can't open, apparently. Okay, let's go upstairs. Ooh. Okay, we get some generators, I guess. I think I checked over in this corner. No, nothing, okay. Do I care what these people have to say? Probably not. What the hell is this? Another seed! Hey, alright, man. <clears throat> Getting close to 60, then we can trade in 20 more to that peapot for another item. So, yeah, that is definitely a good thing. Sticky tapes. Uh, shit. Where am I going here? Okay, we're good to go. Well, I think we've probed the end for all the stuff that we can get for now, so let's go ahead and explore more of the town. Gah, what are you so surprised about? Pathetic. Uh, what? Okay, what the hell? Just don't feel like doing anything? Okay, well, don't then. Don't do anything. What the hell? Yeah, we got another pot over here. And we get a pixie flower accessory. That will increase magic defense uh, by a certain percentage. It's like mad the ability is called magic defense 1. Uh, yeah, you can equip it and your immortals can learn the skill, obviously, and then you can equip it on another party member, too. One of your mortal characters. Okay, well, whatever, that's not very pleasant. Caw! More easy prey stopping by, I see. Everything you see is 50 gold. You interested in anything? Yes, I am! Uh, I don't think it really matters which one you pick here. Yeah, you can uh, choose this over and over again. He'll give you random healing items, but... Eventually here, he will give us something really good. Okay, as you just saw there, uh, yeah, finally, it took me a whole bunch of times, and I wasted a lot of gold, but, uh, yeah, we won an awakening bracelet, yeah, it's basically a random number of times you can give that guy 50 gold, and he will give you this accessory, and, uh, yeah, you can get slot, skill slot, slot plus three with this, uh, accessory here, which is extremely useful, there's a few other accessories, uh, in the game called, uh, that do slot plus 5 and slot plus 10. If you put all these together, it's basically like slot plus almost 20 basically, or 15 or something like that. But yeah, that's extremely useful. If you don't get it now, you can't get it later. So you want to get it now at this point in the game. So there you go. Well, anyways, let's continue probing this town of wonderful stuff. Yeah, that awakening bracelet, that'll definitely be nice to have. Absolutely. Alright, we get another seed. 
And okay, apparently that lady wants more water or something like that, or I don't know. And the cars talk to us. Yeah, that's really messed up, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. All right, let's do that. Oh, look, it's a tavern. How quaint. There's no music in here. Of course, there's no music in any other part of the town either, but whatever. From Tosca? If I'm going too fast for the dialogue, whatever. I, I you, you can just pause the video or something like that if you really want to read it. They don't say anything that interesting. They're just talking about basically Goza and how they can't get there. And all right, we get another seed, which is extremely nice. Is there anything else in here? There can't be just a seed in here. I thought there was something else. Well, whatever. Matter of fact, speaking of seeds, how many do, how many do I have now? 18, okay, well, we can find three more in this town ine inevitably, but, yeah, not right now, we don't have all of them, but, yeah, already went in there, so, that's fine. Okay, we already got whatever was in that pot. There's another pot. And we get the 19th seed in this place. Waha, this money is all mine! This golden sheen, the heavy feel in the hand. Waha, no one else can have it. Uh, K? Yeah, who the heck is this guy? A spell, huh? I guess, yeah, he, well, I guess it's good that he hasn't noticed this, because we're going to steal all his loot. <laughs> yeah, alright, we get a slot seed. Excellent. Very nice. Thousand gold. Three wet stones. What's that? A ledger or something? That looks like bad news waiting to happen. Shh. You want him to find us? Uh, I don't think he notices us. <coughs> uh, what? Okay, we get the secret ledger. Apparently this guy's up, guy's up to some shady, shady business. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep the yeah. secret ledger to, uh, well, we're just gonna keep it. <laughs> we're just gonna keep it. Uh, can we go in here? Yes, we can. Another pot. And we get another seed. So how many is that now? Whoa, what the hell? How are your shoes treating you? Oh, pardon me if I surprise you. I'm a shoemaker, you see. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, another freaking dream. Yeah. I don't care. Hopefully it points to treasure. I doubt it, though. Story of Old Man Grio. Yeah, okay. And that doesn't point us to any treasure, so basically it's a worthless dream. And here's the ringmaker. Or, no, he just sells weapons and stuff. Yeah, I might buy weapons later, not right now. Too busy exploring. Well, anyways, now that we have 20 seeds, I mean, I think there's one more seed we can find in this town. But yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Now that we have 20 seeds, 60 total in the game... Let's give it 20 more seeds. And it took something out of the pot. And it gives us a power bangle, which... What does it do? Where the hell is it? Power bangle. Here we go. Attack boost 1. So yeah, that might be nice to have. Absolutely. So uh, yeah, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the next episode, we will continue exploring the town of Salmon. This is Vettel121. See you next time.